Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time it is. Seems like you're back. All right, doing this mobile board thing. So now we're gonna get into a whole different mobile board. Very simple, won't take too long. Solving for true win. It's actually very, very easy. Just gotta remember the steps and the formulas. So, I'm not gonna go over the whole mobile board. We already know where the scale is at. We already know about the center. I already know about the calculations down here. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So let's say Blue Ridge. is on course 320 at 10 knots and we have relative winds at let's say 010 24 knots all right so what we're gonna do go ahead and get our dividers here Go to our 5 to 1 scale, measure out that 10. We're going to find our 320 line. Make that little dot right there. Alright. Then we can go ahead and draw our arrow. Or you can go ahead and do your little line so you know exactly which way you're going. Like I said in the previous video. Keto. Alright, that's us. Blue Ridge. Like I can say before, that relative wind is 0, 010, 0, 24 knots. Now remember, it's relative. Our true course might be 320, but if you're on the outside of the skin of the ship, and let's say you're on the bow, you're for a lookout, whichever way you're facing, relative, that's your 000. zero, zero. So, if relative we're doing 0, 010, zero, it's just 10 degrees over to your right. So you can either do the math and just go on over one, or you can do this. So I know our heading, for me, relative is always gonna be zero, zero, zero. That's the way we're facing. So if my relative is zero, one, zero, I'll go ahead and measure out just like that. Now I'll take that metal pointer, bring it over here, Boom, so now I know that is relative zero, 010. Zero. Next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the 24 knots that it's going. And with that 24 knots, go ahead and place a dot on that relative wind line, that zero, 010 zero that it represents. And I'm gonna draw an arrow going backwards. That way I know this represents relative wind. So, remember this statement, easy way to do this. So, ship being our course and speed arrow heading to wind, all right? So, that lets me know which direction I'm going. Course and speed ship heading to the wind. So we're going that direction. And you parallel that to the center of the mold board. And that will give you your true wind heading. All right. In this case, it is 336. Now, the distance between your course and speed heading arrow and your backwards arrow for relative wind will be your true wind speed and we got it at 14 knots so true winds 336 at 14 knots boom pretty simple if you thought that was kind of fast we'll do another one just to make sure you got the grasp All right, so here's a new mobile board. So, this time, Blue Ridge is on course, we'll say 298 at 12 knots. Relative winds are, we'll say 050 at 28 knots. So, once again, solving for Blue Ridge, 
Take our dividers, five and one scale, range out to 12 knots. We'll find 298. Make that little dot there. This represents our arrow heading. Draw a little one. Relative winds, zero five zero, just like I did in the last video. The reason I'm on zero 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 because that's going to represent our relative heading. And I range out to the zero five zero. And I take my metal piece here, a metal pointer, point on the two nine eight. Boom. So this is our relative, 050. And I'm going to measure out 28 knots. Line this up. Boom. I'll make that kind of big. represents our relative winds all right so once again the saying is from ship to win send them overboard there's our true win and the distance from our ship's course and speed heading to that relative wind arrow backwards arrow it's 22 knots so in this mode board true wind is 0 1 2 at 22 knots now don't get yourself confused you're probably wondering well if we're doing true wind and true speed and true course coming from center mode board why are we using center mode board because in this particular mode board you have to remember when we got the relative wind when we plotted that we used the center of the mobile board. so this will always end up being 28 so therefore it wouldn't change that's why in this situation this mobile board we're using the arrow that represents the course speed heading why because your true speed is going to be the difference between these two relative pretty simple well that's it that's your mobile that's your true win gang 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 <laughs>